of the River Spirit Casino Resort, Miss Teen USA 2021. Right now, from the River Spirit Casino Resort in yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Miss Teen USA 2021. It's time for you to meet the 2021 Miss Teen USA contestants. Alabama, Dalen Swan. Ellie Smith, Alaska. Arizona, Mackenzie Lintag. Arkansas, Madeline Bowman. California.
please welcome to the stage your host, the multi talented Kalani Hilliker. the 2021 Miss Teen USA competition live from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let's hear it again for these incredible contestants. I am so pumped for tonight's show. There is such great energy here at River Spirit Casino Resort. The Miss Teen organization has new ownership and tonight you'll experience the exciting updates inspired by our visionary leadership. It's pageantry reimagined and I am totally digging the vibe. We are moments away from finding out which one of these 51 contestants will make it into the semifinals. But first, I would like to bring out my co-host for tonight. Please welcome the lovely and talented Nicole Adamo. Thank you, everyone, and wow, so much style and sass in the house tonight, you included, Kalani. Thank you. Ooh, tonight's gonna be lit with 51 contestants who have worked so hard to be here. Obvi, they are all competition ready, but in a moment, only 16 of them will move on to compete in tonight's final. On Friday, our contestants had, to, had some face time with the judges in their interviews. During our prelims last night, those same judges saw them flex on stage in the Sway Energy Fitness Competition and the Sherry Hill Evening Gown Competition. The judges' votes determined a top 15. A 16th contestant would add, was added to the mix thanks to a fan favorite vote. That's right, this year you picked a semifinalist. We'll find out who got the top vote later, but right now, Kalani, will you announce our top 16 as verified by accountants John Grace, senior consultant with Stanfield and Odell, and Derek Pettifer, an audit manager at Stanfield and Odell as well. Here are your top 16 finalists for 2021. All right, first up we have Mississippi. The next contestant in the top 16 is Utah. Joining the semifinals is Wyoming. You're up, Louisiana. It's your turn, Pennsylvania! Let's hear it for Florida! Moving forward, Nebraska! You made it! Iowa! All right. It's time to reveal the second half of our top 16. Starting off with Missouri.
Take a deep breath. Maryland. Next up, Wisconsin. Let's hear it for Georgia. You've made it to the top 16, Texas. Congratulations. Rounding out the top 16 is District of Columbia. There they are, your 2021 Miss Teen USA Top 16. Ladies, you may exit. One of these young women will take home the title tonight. As the, as the contestants exit the stage, let's give them a huge round of applause. All 51 contestants have worked so hard, and even though only one of them gets the crown tonight, they should all be so incredibly proud of what they've accomplished. Now that we've met our top 16 contestants, let's get to know each of them a little bit more as they take the chance to each hit the runway. Starting with... Mississippi! 18-year-old Maddie Grace published a cookbook of healthy recipes with the proceeds going to a children's hospital. She became known as Prom TikTok Girl after one of her videos reached over 3 million views. Utah! 16-year-old Iziana is working on a hair care business that focus, focuses on strengthening natural curly locks. She heads to the Philippines regularly, where she enjoys preparing dinners for those in need. Wyoming! 19-year-old Taryn is attending Utah State on a full-ride scholarship. This licensed realist, realtor and CrossFit fanatic volunteers at animal shelters and is passionate about foster care. Louisiana! 19-year-old Gracie started a nonprofit called The Smile Pack when she was only 14 years old. She's currently a biology major at LSU with a concentration in the pediatric physicology. Pennsylvania! 18-year-old Yvonne is a student at Harvard University studying human development and regenerative biology. She is a synchronized figure skater and is on the pre-med track to becoming an orthopedic surgeon. Florida! 18-year-old Brianna is proud to be a bilingual Afro-Latina business owner. She's a theater lover who was cast in productions of Adam's Family, the musical, and Legally Blonde, the musical. Nebraska. 18-year-old Daisy is a journal journalism student who is an advocate for equality and inclusion. She wants to see more women occupying positions of power, especially in the STEM fields. Iowa! 19-year-old Angel is majoring in international relations and environmental science at Drake University. She wants to pursue a career in Dippo, Massey, and eventually...
Missouri, 18-year-old Anna once hiked a 17-mile trail in Yosemite. The CPR certified journalism student grew up on a lake and began water skiing when she was only just two. South Carolina. 18-year-old Augusta is a professional model who once trolled in front of over 100,000 fans at a college football stadium. She's a mass communication major who actively volunteers with Habitat for Humanity. Maryland! 18-year-old Maria was born and raised in Kuwait and moved to the United States when she was just nine. She was interned with her senator and served a page in her state legislative. Wisconsin! 19-year-old Shira is a presidential scholar at New York University and plans to do biology research in Paris. This saxophonist is a professional Indian classic dancer with over 14 years of training. Georgia! 19-year-old Liza has traveled to 18 countries, including Israel. She's majoring in early childhood education at the University of Georgia and is an advocate for childhood literacy through her project, Loving Literacy. Texas! 19-year-old Landry is a big fan of all music, but as the niece of Randy Travis, country is her favorite genre. In her spare time, she enjoys dancing, blogging on her website, and identifying bird calls. California! 19-year-old Cameron has raised over $11,000 going door to door for the Children's Miracle Network. She has over 650,000 TikTok followers and uses the platform to create fashion forward, relatable content. District of Columbia. 17 year old Hannah is a self-taught pianist and violinist who became a published author when she was only 12. She currently serves as vice president for the Washington Conference branch of the of African Myth Mythologist Church. Thank you, ladies. One of you is about to become the face and voice for teens all around the country. As our top 16 head backstage to get ready for competition, please take a look at this video from our presenting sponsor, Senegents. A shame, think something new under the sun. There are some routines in life that we all have in common, and then others, not so much. LipSense by Cinegents Smudge Proof Budge Proof Formula makes certain that no matter what life throws your way, you can trust your lip color will last. Cinegents, adding long lasting color to every woman's routine, no matter what that looks like. Thank you again to our presenting sponsor, Cinegents. They make some incredible products. You can go to Cinegents.com to learn more. The Sway Energy Drink, Energy Drink Fitness Competition is coming up. But first, I'd like to introduce a young lady from Hawaii. She knows exactly how it takes and what it takes to win the crown because she did it last year. Put your hands together for Miss Teen USA 2020, Ki'ilani Aruda. Lonnie, what a year it has been for you. Can you please tell all of us what you've been up to? 
So yes, in my past year as Miss Teen USA, I have done a lot of things with the Miss Universe organization, as for working with Smile Train and Best Buddies, um, some of their ambassadors, and just traveling all over the world. Um, even though we're in a global pandemic, I still got to live out my reign normally for part of it. Um, Asia and I went to the Dominican Republic to work with Smile Train, and it's, been, it's just been one heck of a year. Yeah, Crazy, I'm sure. But I love it. Well, you look absolutely stunning tonight. I'm just wondering, since you've been in this exact position before, what is some advice you could give the top 16? Yes, okay, so for the top 16, I can feel their nerves and just how exciting it is. Um, I remember from last year, everything went by so quickly, so just taking a deep breath, taking it all in, and just remembering this one moment because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for these young ladies. And being at Miss Teen USA, especially with the new leadership under Crystal Stewart, I know that whoever wins is gonna have an amazing year. And all of these young ladies have had an amazing time with competing for Miss Teen USA. So give it up for Miss USA, the Miss USA organization and Crystal Stewart. And now since sadly your reign is coming to an end, what do you plan to do next? Well, I like to take my life one day at a time. <laughs> so um, I'm just really grateful for this opportunity of being Miss Teen USA and all the opportunities that I have for it. I don't really know. Let's just see. It's a I surprise. feel you, girl. I did the same thing. I got you. Thank you so much, Kehilani. Thank you, Kalani. We're like I know. This, our names <laughs> are <good. laughs> We'll see you again later after the show. Let's Thank hear it again you. You. for Kehilani. Thank you. Okay, fam. The big question of the night. Who will be the next Miss Teen USA? Okay, okay, okay. I agree with all of you, but the official answer comes from the people who make the tough decisions down here. Our judges. Nicole is standing by to introduce us to this very influential group. Thanks, Kalani. Here's the tea on our judges. They are accomplished professionals from the beauty, business, and entertainment industries, and that makes them uniquely qualified to pick our new queen tonight. Let's meet them now. She's an Instagram influencer and respiratory therapist at St. Francis Hospital right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Claudia Correa. This cutting edge creative director and fashion designer has dressed A-listers and collaborated with major companies influencing fashion and art and culture, Jerome Lamar. As founder, CEO, and chairwoman, she is the visionary and driving force behind leading skincare and cosmetics company and our presenting sponsor, Senegens, Joni Rogers-Conti. Yeah. She's the owner of Silhouette Sneakers and Art, a highly curated retail experience that brings limited and authentic sneakers and streetwear to Tulsa, Oklahoma, Vanita Cooper. She's a seasoned entertainment host, writer, and talent booker who has been entertaining millions every night on behalf of Entertainment Tonight and TMZ, Madison Brodsky. An impressive group of influencers and leaders for sure. At the top of the show, Kalani and I said that this is pageantry reimagined. This summer, for the first time, the 51 contestants linked up in Houston for an action-packed retreat. The contestants traveled on our new official airline, United, and stayed at the luxurious Moran Hotel. The trip included world-class pageantry training courtesy of the Miss Academy, and the girls got plenty of squad time. Let's check it out. Thanks to United Airlines, the Miss Teen USA contestants jetted off to Houston, Texas for the first ever retreat weekend. The contestants got the chance to stay at the Moran City Center, a luxury hotel with an experience like no other, all fit for a queen. With no time to waste, contestants were greeted by the president of the Miss USA organization, Crystal Stewart, as she set goals and expectations for their time together in Houston. Then it was time to get to work. 
the opportunity to work with top-notch instructors from the Miss Academy to learn the skills needed to be a total success. Interview sessions to learn what to say and how to say it, to showcase their personality and life experiences. Walking sessions that focus on posture and how to make a great impression on the big stage or the fashion runway. Then it was about putting it all together in photo sessions, getting in front of the camera with Grant Photo, the official photographer for Miss Team USA, the pose, the angle, the expression, all to capture that special look and moment. The Miss Team USA Retreat Weekend, a chance to learn more and be inspired by the best. It's pageantry reimagined. All right, you guys have late waited long enough. It's time to introduce our top 16 to light this runway on fire. The 2021 Miss Teen USA Sway Energy Drink Fitness Competition kicks off with Mississippi.
South Carolina. Wisconsin! District of Columbia. Let's take another look at our top 16 in the Sway Energy Drink Fitness Competition. Sway gives me my daily dose of energy. And the vitamins that I need to power through my day. And the flavors are ridiculous. Join the movement at swayenergydrink.com. A huge thank you to Sway Energy Drink. That fitness competition was straight fire. I am loving all of the looks these teens are serving well. They're here at the River Spirit Casino Resort. And they're fit and fashionable too. Let's take a look. My sense of style, like right now, going back to like the 80s, like, I'm bringing some of that back. So my personal style is a mix of Michelle Obama and Beyonce. I love to look like a girl boss, but maybe a CEO on a good day. I would describe my personal style as fun. I'm a very fun, bubbly person, so I really enhance that in my outfits. 
To keep myself motivated to work out, I'm actually held accountable by my trainer, Chelsea Harden, who was first runner up to Miss USA. And we have weekly calls and weekly check ins. So I wanted to do gymnastics, so I started competing at seven years old, and I've stuck through it ever since, and it's been amazing. I train five days a week, as well as incorporating lift into my athletic regimen. I always look back at the things that I have done and all the things that make me, me. And to remember my accomplishments is something that helps me feel my best and feel confident. I always feel most confident when I'm talking about what I love most or when I'm with those that I love most. One of the things that I like to do is look in the mirror and give myself positive affirmations. Every day I tell myself that I'm beautiful, I'm intelligent, I'm confident. And I believe that that has helped me become a more confidently beautiful woman and I think it could help girls around this country as well. A lot of effort goes into becoming a queen. And someone who knows a little something about that is the reigning Miss USA. She's one of the most impressive young women you will ever meet. Miss USA 2020, Asia Branch. Welcome, Asia. You look absolutely stunning as ever. Thank you. Okay, so I've got to get your expert opinion. What do you think of these top 16 teens? Oh my goodness, one, they're absolutely incredible, as well as all about 51 incredible young ladies tonight. But there's so much diversity on this stage, so many different people and just unique styles and personalities, yeah. backgrounds represented on this stage. It really is hashtag pageantry reimagined. <laughs> So you've had a very interesting year. What's it been like wearing the crown during a global pandemic? Not anything I'd ever anticipated, <laughs> but you know, we make the most of it. I'm an optimist, so I find the good in every situation. And this really has been a blessing, even though it has been challenging. That's been the beauty of it all. I've learned how to carry myself in different situations and moments that I never would have had to do otherwise. And so it's been a beautiful journey. So on Monday night, sadly, you'll be giving up your crown. What is next for you? I'm not giving up my crown, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm running with the crown. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm excited for the next chapter. It will be extremely bittersweet. But um, I'm relaunching my cosmetic line, Branch Beauty, so I'll have all that to focus on and several new things coming as well. So I'm looking forward to this next chapter. Well, congratulations. Thank and you. thank you, Asia. It's been great seeing you thrive during your year. If you want to learn more about this incredible queen and all the latest Miss USA news, please check out MissUSA.com and be sure to follow Miss USA on Insta. You know how the beauty of pageantry is, you know, yes, it's a competition, but at the end of the day, these young women like Tino let their hair down and vibe with each other. So let's check out these girls having a good time.
watching that, I'm just wondering where's my invite? I'm gonna have to go ask them backstage for sure. But high key, this class of 2021 knows how to have fun. And there is no surprise that they have been having a blast this week staying at the River Spirit Casino Resort, a triple A four diamond award winner. A one-of-a-kind experience awaits you at River Spirit Casino Resort. Island-inspired vibes and beautiful river views from our luxurious resort hotel. Endless gaming excitement with two casinos under one roof, Margaritaville and River Spirit. And fine dining excellence at the only Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Oklahoma. So many unforgettable experiences you won't find anywhere else. River Spirit Casino Resort, your staycation destination. A huge thank you to the Muscogee Nation Principal Chief David W. Hill and everyone here at the River Spirit Casino Resort for making us feel like a million bucks. And that's very fitting because coming up is the evening gown showcase. The contestants will look like a million bucks in their Sherry Hill gowns. This showcase is a Miss Teen USA tradition and you'll see why. So let's get started. we get one step closer to crowning our next Miss Teen USA, let's begin with... crowning our next, next, next Miss Teen USA. So, let's begin with Mississippi!
Wyoming! Louisiana! Missouri! South Carolina.
California! Welcome back all of our semi-finalists back to the stage in their Sherry Hill evening gowns. Well, that was a fabulous evening gown competition. Nicole, what were your thoughts? Did they not slay, everybody? Woo! Yes. When we come back, we'll announce our top five and jump right into the new group discussion segment and the all-important final question. Trust me, you are not going to want to miss a minute. So you go enjoy your 15-minute intermission, and we will see you right back here very soon.
welcome back to the second half of Miss Team USA 2021. Once again, here are Kalani and Nicole. Welcome back to Miss Teen USA, live from the River Spirit Casino Resort in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We are about to announce our top five. But first, I want to remind everyone that Miss USA telecast is just a couple days away. Nicole, I know you're excited for the big day. You better believe it. It all happens right here in the Cove at River Spirit on Monday night. Hosted by Zuri Hall and Patrick Ta with a special performance from hip hop legend Ja Rule. And yes, and I'll be hosting in the Senate Slip Sense Lounge. Oh, and did I mention the show is live on FYI? It is going to be so epic. Yes, that's right. Okay, I seriously can't wait for Monday night, but Nicole, we gotta get to to some important business to tonight. As you know, only five of our top 16 will advance to our next round. Very sad. In my hands, I hold the list of those ten, ten, teens, sorry, who have made this cut. All right, let's take a deep breath, ladies. <sighs> okay, here we go. The first young woman in the final five is... Utah! And our next finalist is... Moving on is Pennsylvania. Your next Florida. And rounding out the top five is District of Columbia! Here they are, your 2021 Miss Teen USA Top Five! Okay, ladies, congratulations on making it this far. That's amazing. Thank you. So we're shaking things up a little bit this year. Before we get to the final question, we've added a new element to the mix, a group discussion. Nicole? Okay, ladies, you guys are gonna love this, by the way. Okay, ladies, let's have some fun. It is time for a girl chat. It's just you five, me, and everyone in this arena. That's okay, <laughs> we're gonna have a great time. All right, let's start off with an easy one. Would you do well in a zombie apocalypse? I think that I would do well. I've taken boxing in self-defense classes since the seventh grade. So that sounds like a pretty daunting and scary thing. I really hope that doesn't happen ever. But I think that I'd be okay. I, I do that. not think I would do well. <laughs> I think uh -oh. that I would run for my life, but you know what? I don't have to be the fastest person, but I won't be the slowest person. Exactly. That's for sure. I think I also would do pretty well. Um, I don't have kickboxing, but I do have movie experience. <laughs> yeah. um, and I also have like three years of track under my belt, Wall Street track athlete, so I think I'd do pretty well. I don't have to be the fastest, Just, but I'd be faster than the slowest person. There you go. I think I'd do pretty well, that. too. I also have a lot of movie experience, nice. and I'm the mama my friend group, so I'm always prepared extra snacks in my car and in my pocket, so I will be good in my bunker. We're sticking together. Just like snacks and defense. Florida, I don't think I would do good in a zombie apocalypse. I do cheer. I think maybe a few toe touches could fend them off, but nothing more than that. I know I make sure that I grab my dog, put her in my purse, and my family, of course, and go into a 
underground safe. Yep. <laughs> I, you know what, I think we would all like to see how you do that toe touch. Now, I know oh, not right no, now, but she was about to do it. it. You gotta give it up for her, she was about to do it. All right, next question. What would you do if you could be invisible for an hour each day? One hour each day, invisible. You I could do anything. I would grab all of these snacks in my pantry and go crazy. I love food, but I, yeah. What kind of food are we eating? What kind of snacks? Okay. We need you to elaborate. Come on, let's hear it. No, I love Takis. They're my favorite, but Ooh. I've actually been trying to be healthy, so going to the gym has been good. But with that, I need to drink a lot of water, so the snacks that I think I would bring are... I don't know. You can see me in the food aisle go crazy though. Okay. Harping on the food, I think I would go to an all-you-can-eat buffet and just yes. take all the food. Yes. For sure. My friends and I love pranking each other and we love those little rubber ducks. So I think I would probably place the little rubber ducks around all of their rooms just to see how they react or wonder how they got there. Okay. I think for me, I'd probably sneak into the teacher's lounge because I always have the gossip. Oh, um, she likes the I tea. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I hear you guys. Someone. I think that I'd go right for the food, maybe the buffet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have lived in an all organic family my entire life, so maybe sneak in a couple organic bites. <laughs> all right, mom and dad, she's sneaking away from you guys and eating all the unorganic food. Okay, now you've answered those questions. Let's get a little more personal. And just remember, there are no wrong answers, okay? Let's have some fun. We only get to know you on stage for just a few moments. So, what words describe you best? I think confident would have to describe me best. This was something that um, I used to struggle with being an Afro-Latina. I didn't really have representation and I didn't know if I was black enough or Hispanic enough. And as Miss Florida Teen USA, I've truly been able to spread that message throughout. All right. Yeah, we like that answer. I love that answer. I would say adaptable. I love being prepared, but what COVID has really taught me is that I can't be prepared for everything. So something that really describes me as adaptable. I've been able to change how I learn to not, to beginning with struggling with schooling during COVID to being accepted as a Harvard student, as a freshman. Yes, so, Flex! Harvard, hello! Adaptability, yes, and it's definitely helped, especially with our new directorship in the USA system. I would say relatable. Throughout my life, I've battled some pretty tough fights and one of those being a very traumatic situation that I was in at a young age, and that led to depression, anxiety, PTSD, and I've also struggled with body image, comparison issues, but I've been able to turn my pain into purpose, and I share my message, okay. what I have gone through and how I got through it on my website, on my social media, and speaking engagements, and as Miss Texas Teen, and I would like to continue to do so as Miss Teen USA, if that is a possibility. We <laughs> love a good um, plug, don't we, everyone? Yes, and I would love to do that through hosting empowerment workshops throughout the U.S. I would say I'm very driven. Once I set my mind to something, I can achieve it. I actually struggled with learning to embrace my individuality and I decided that I would break through that by going through my big chop and I just couldn't go living life every day with the heat damage that I endured, wondering if that was okay in a society. But through that, I drove myself into a place where I found self-love and I just feel that when you're driven, you can truly achieve and accomplish anything. Ooh, yes. Well, I would say organic. Um, I've never been a person, well, I have been a person to actually try to be a different person or try to put on a front to fit in with a certain group, but I've learned through years and years and years of me being sad or me being depressed, the best way to be confident and to be beautiful is to be your authentic self. And I feel like for me to get up on this stage and be in front of all of you, I mean, that's the most organic you can be. I, I don't wanna be anybody else because it would suck to have a title and have to be somebody else for an entire year, you know? So I, I really wanna show you all that I'm our, my organic, organic self, excuse me, and yeah, thank you. Uh, how about a big hand for those answers, right? Let's hear it for them so far. Yes, ladies, all right. This is a good one, because I know we all have opinions on this, right? We all look at things different. How would you describe your generation? 
I would say our generation, to use a quote from Family Humor, I don't have a word, but we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. We are the generation that will get up, fight for everybody, fight for just, uh, fight against discrimination. I feel like we're the generation that will really start to dismantle all those social constructs that really oppress black and brown bodies in the United States. Not even black and brown, transgender bodies, uh, LGBTQIA plus bodies, all those people that are oppressing the United States. I feel like my generation is the ones that we're gonna get up and we're gonna start fighting for the people. I feel like just, yes. Yeah. I do, um, just to piggyback off of that, I believe that we are the, ch um, the generation of really being compassionate and being kind to one another and not letting our differences really hold us back. It's really important that we're able to really focus on not letting all of our differences of race or nationality, sexuality, gender really hold us back, but bring us together as a nation. Not only that, but I feel we're learning to see a different perspective. We're seeing, we're, we're, more, we're more open with people's situations, and I feel that as a generation, we're learning from each other. And I think that that's the most important, is to continue to have an open mind and just see both sides of what's going on. And I feel that is what we are as a generation doing. We see that with movements from our younger generations. We see that. As a younger generation, we are making progressive change, and I think that that is so important. I loved what you guys touched on. We're extremely multifaceted as well. I don't think there's one idea that can describe our generation because we're finally coming to an understanding that all identities have a place and have a purpose, and that's why I'm really proud to be a part of this generation. We can be anything that we set our mind to if we have that drive and that passion and that compassion just as my fellow teens are talking about here. I would say daring. I would say daring because just like how y'all were saying, our generation is speaking up and speaking out. We are standing up for things that we have been too quiet about for too long. We're using technology and our social medias to talk about what we're passionate about, making platforms. I mean, all of us here today, we are strong women that are here to make a difference and live a life that will outlive us. Yes! These ladies are very, very inspiring, right? Very insightful, ladies. Last question, and for this one, I just want a thumbs up or thumbs down, and depending on your answer, I might call on you to tell me more. All right, first one. Custom elaborate coffee shop orders. Thumbs up or down? Coffee house orders? Coffee house orders. You go to a coffee shop, order, it's elaborate. You like up or down? Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Texas is giving us very confident on that answer. I'm going to need you to give us I, a little more. I am very passionate about my coffee. I, I grew up with my mom saying, I love my coffee. So growing up, I would always go to a coffee shop and do my work there. A matcha with, yes. with lavender in it. Oh, I've never tried that, but Chai, you have Girl, to try it. After this, we're going on a coffee date. Yes. Matcha with lavender, maybe oat milk. I love so oat milk. Good. Yes, oh. oat milk. That chai, the, the cold foam chai latte with oat milk. That, yes. or the, the These ladies milk. love Those their coffee, good. huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. No wonder they have so much energy. All right. <laughs> All right, now I'm facing you. Are you ready? Now that you're warmed up, it is time to get serious. When I call your names, you are going to pick a card, and it has a name of a judge on it. That judge will, in turn, be asking you a final question. You will have 30 seconds to answer it, and if you go over, you will hear this sound. Oh. All right, ready? All right, Utah, we're gonna start with you. Which judge did you pick? Oh, go find out. <laughs> go pick a judge and then go we'll ask out. you. I have judge number one. Okay, so 80% of teens say they feel pressure to save the environment, but don't know how. What would you tell them? To save? Did you say to save the environment? Yes, save. I feel that with climate change, it is a real global issue that we touch on, but we're not necessarily urgent on. And we see small change throughout our schools. They are, we have recycling clubs, and not only that, but we see sustainability in thing, places like hotels. I was actually recently in New York, and they had faucets that were low pressure, so that just a small act like that saved so much 
in our environment. And All a right. small change can really make a big difference. Thank you, Utah. Thank you. Texas, you're up next. And you have selected judge number two. As a new or young voter, what changes would you like to see to America's political climate? For America's political climate, I would go straight into having advocates, more advocates for sex traffic victims. I work with a safe house called Bochi's Place, and in that I see the hurt that these girls have faced and how our government and certain groups are not stepping in as much as they should. We need more advocates. We need to go into these jailing systems and have advocates for these girls to get them the proper help that they need. All right, thank you, Texas. Pennsylvania, you're up. And you've picked judge number five. Diversity and inclusion is a top concern for teens in 2021. What motivates you to get involved in being an advocate for change? So personally, I was a part of a newfound club in my high school called Titans for Inclusion and Equity. And then I founded our very first black student union at my high school. And I advocate for diversity and inclusion because it's something that we're not seeing. It's something that personally growing up, I never felt like I was included, like I belonged in my high school in my area. So with the foundation of these clubs, it's a space where we can all feel that we belong, and I think that's necessary. All right, thank you, Pennsylvania. Florida, it's your turn. You've picked judge number? Judge number four. If you win this evening, you'll become an even bigger social media influencer. Tell us about your content strategy and how you plan to drive engagement. I believe that the biggest thing about social media is that we need to use it as a positive platform. As Miss Florida Teen USA, I've been able to really spread the message of being your own gem and being you. It's really important that we are able to realize that it doesn't matter those superficial things. We go on social media and we compare ourselves to others. We truly need to know that it's what's on the inside that matters. Thank you. All right, thank you, Florida. And finally, District of Columbia, you're up. Who do we got? I have judge number three. The next, excuse me, the next Miss Teen USA will be the voice for teens. What do you want people to know about teenage anxiety and mental health? Absolutely. So my platform is actually mental health. So I had two, two classmates that actually committed suicide before COVID had started. So I'm really close to this topic. I'm really aware of the anxiety and depression that all teens face. And I feel like it really starts with self-confidence. If you can work on self-love and self-confidence, you can be able to uh, start breaking down some of that depression, some of that anxiety that you face on a daily basis. And we need to really realize that these things are real issues in our community, especially in black and brown communities. We need to really face this and realize, oops, sorry. <laughs> we need to realize that these are real issues and come together as a community to face them. Thank you. Thank you, District of Columbia. All right, let's hear it for our top five. Yeah. They are all worthy of the Mawad Power of Hope crown, but tonight, only one can take it home. Will it be Utah?
Will it be Pennsylvania? Will it be Florida? Or will it be District of Columbia? Give it up one more time for your top five. Atira, come on, give it up. Okay, our top five slayed the competition tonight, right? I mean, that's an amazing group of women, I have to say. But I do want to applaud all the hard work of all 51 teams that have put in sense arriving here in Tulsa. It's been a full week of rehearsals, events. So we should take a look at the behind the scenes. As you can see, it's been quite a week, and it won't be long before the next Miss Teen USA has a crown placed on her head like these legendary formers. The winner of Miss Teen USA 2020, Hawaii!
we'll find out who will be wearing the 2021 Miss Teen USA crown in just a matter of minutes. But before we name the winner, we have a few special awards to present. First is fan favorite, determined by an online vote. Let's hear it for your fan favorite. Your fan favorite is Georgia! Up next, Miss Photogenic. The winner of Miss Photogenic is Indiana! <laughs> next, winning the Miss Teen USA Costume Contest, Utah! And finally, everyone's new bestie, Miss Congeniality. This year's winner is Nebraska! <laughs> Let's hear it for our award winners and all 51 of our incredible teens. And if you're 18 watching tonight and want to participate in a life-changing experience, make friendships that last forever along the way, head to MissTeenUSA.com to find out how you can compete in your state's competition. And be sure to follow Miss Teen USA and Miss USA on Instagram. We're getting closer to the big moment of the night, but before we do, we want to say mahalo to our reigning queen, Kiilani Aruda. Who would have ever thought that I'd be crowned Miss Teen USA, becoming the second Hawaii teen to win? Just a simple Kauai Island girl, I've always loved a challenge. To say that 2020 was a challenge is an understatement. The biggest challenge of my life thus far has been being a queen during a global pandemic and a freshman attending the University of Puget Sound, majoring in molecular and cellular biology. My passion for STEM put me on a path where I can work on building awareness of the inner beauty of people, as well as celebrate the outer brilliance of this amazing field. The challenges I face today are shaping me to be a better person, and one day I will become a dermatologist, helping others just like me who struggle with skin issues and confidence. Success doesn't come to you, you go to it. And there are so many who have helped me accomplish my dreams. To my mother, my best friend, dad, sister, and my little brother. Without you, this title, my schooling, and my future path would not have been clear or complete. I love you all and thank you all for your support. Alicia Michioka and the Miss Hawaii USA organization, thank you for always being in my corner and supporting me in everything I've done. You always believed I could do this. I love you guys so much. To Avery Kano and my Kauai Island pageant family, thank you for seeing something in me when I didn't. My pageant sisters, Samantha, Lacey, Julie, Chelsea, and Emma, and everyone who has touched me during my journey, a huge thank you for being there for me, putting up with me, and loving me. Paula Sugar and the Miss Universe organization, I know it was a different kind of year. I am forever grateful to you for giving me this opportunity and always being there and guiding me. Your leadership has prepped me to continue my personal growth to become a stronger and better me. My sister queens, Asia, Andrea, Zosie, Chesley, and Kaylee. Without you all, I don't know how I would have survived. You may not know it, but each call or text helps me get through this past year. You've become a true friend to me for life. Representing my beautiful Aloha State of Hawaii will forever be one of my proudest moments. Aohe pu'u ki'e ki'e, ke ho a'o ia e pi'i. No cliff is so tall it cannot be climbed. And last but certainly not least, to the next Miss Teen USA. You're in the best of hands with Crystal, Max, and the Miss USA organization. Their drive and dedication will guide you on the path you are meant to be on. Brace yourself for the memories and the year of a lifetime. Mahalo nui loa. Taking her final walk, please welcome Miss Teen USA 2020, Kiilani Aruda.
presented the crown this past year. As we welcome our top five back to the stage, I'd like to thank River Spirit Casino Resort, our amazing sponsors, the new president of Miss USA and the CEO of Fab herself, Crystal Stewart, the Miss Teen USA crew, the judges, and of course, all of you watching tonight. Miss Teen USA will receive an incredible prize package, including Senegent's products, skincare by Mia Beauty, Sherry Hill Fashion, media and appearance opportunities. We're especially excited that Miss Teen USA 2021 receives a $25,000 cash scholarship from Proton Green and Visions Without Borders presented tonight by Dallas Salazar. And now, the official results. One of these five young women is about to be crowned the next Miss Teen USA and have her life changed forever. The fourth runner-up is Utah! The third runner-up is Pennsylvania! The second runner-up is Texas! And then there were two. If for any reason the new Miss Teen USA cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. Good luck to you both. And the winner of Miss Teen USA 2021 is... Florida!